Hey guys, it's Ashby with Ashby Farms and Happy New Year. Today is the 31st of December and this is the first time I feel like it's a good time to get out and do oxalic acid vapor treatments. So to give you an idea, I could have come out here about a month ago, but during that time, some buddies of mine were posting pictures from here in the Piedmont of North Carolina and they're still showing brood. So had I done an oxalic acid vapor treatment, then it would have only affected maybe 40 or 50% of the mites that were in the colony. Now, some people would say that, well, that's 40 or 50% of the mites. And I, while I agree with that, I have limited time. We are incredibly busy right now. I've been building lots of new uh, beehive equipment and working quite a bit still at my day job and uh, family stuff and the holidays. So the reason that I wait this long, um, really to me, oxalic acid is the treatments themselves are weather dependent. So I'm looking for a number of things to make. It's going to take me about 20 hours to get through 300 hives and include like travel and everything. So I've got to be effective with my time. So if I'd have treated the bees a month ago and only gotten 50% of the mites, you know that's not bad but as long as there is capped brood present oxalic acid vapors can't penetrate through the capping on the brood and 60 percent of your mite loads are going to be in the larval uh, stage of the brood underneath the capping so what the reason i'm waiting for this cold snap to come along is the queen will stop laying and most of the brood will hatch out and now we've got a, a broodless window of opportunity um, just after the cold front, it needs to be at least 42 degrees outside to uh, break the cluster. I prefer, like I said, today's 52. Um, that to me is very effective. So the bees are kind of, you know, they're still in the hive, but they are out and about rather than clustered up. And that way, the vaporization can penetrate uh, the all and get into all the bees. We've got all the bees exposed. So it's kind of hard to find a time, like just for instance, last night. Last night when I got home from work, it was dark, it was 5.30. I got in the bee yard from 6 to 8, and the temperatures during that time were uh, 57 down to 50. Last night's low was 50. But in the dark, all the bees are home. It's not too cold for me to work. We've had this cold snap where there's no brood, and now that oxalic acid vaporization is going to be very effective and so we're going to assume that we're going to get 90 percent of the mites so if we've got 100 mites then we're going to end up with 10 mites after today's treatment i'm going to try and get back here somewhere between 10 and 20 days from now uh, again it's just really weather dependent last year my two treatments were december 4th and then january 26th um, so almost two months apart that's okay the whole point is that you want to be effective with the oxalic uh, treatment. Of course, I did Apivar back in August, and so far I've looked at 62, 35, and 36. So that'd be uh, 70 and 60, about 130 colonies so far. I've lost four uh, that, I, that I know of right away. Um, they were all small nukes. They were like three frame colonies going into winter. So in order to get 99% of the mites, then our second treatment will be treating 90% of the 10% that we don't get on this treatment. Um, that's why I like doing the, the two treatments. We'll get about 99, 100% of the mites. I mean, nothing's a, a perfect 100%, but we're significantly knocking down the mite load here um, at the end of December, into January. So. so as far as equipment goes, in order to safely and effectively do oxalic acid uh, vaporization, I run a 12 volt marine grade battery, uh, like a deep cycle battery, and I can get through about 36 hives on the battery. And then for the next yard, I'll just hook up the battery to um, the marine battery to the Jeep battery and just start the Jeep. That way the alternator off the Jeep is recharging the marine battery. And then I'll also hook up the uh, power inverter to the Jeep battery as well while the Jeep's running. And uh, so that way I'm, I'm recharging the marine battery for the third yard we're going to go to today and um, still got power. So we run a, a battery to a power inverter, a drop cord to the Laroe Bees vaporizer. Um, oxalic acid is cheap. Um, it's like you know, 20 bucks for a 10 pound bag. Um, you do need a respirator. Um, like for me right now, I'm standing 
you know, probably 20 feet from it and the wind's blowing obviously that way, but you don't want to be breathing acid vapors. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's episode, uh, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me get found on YouTube. Please like the video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks guys. Have a happy new year.